three days after the derailment that claimed four lives and turned her world literally upside down. Anna cannot shake the memories. She was in the third car about to start a crossword puzzle when all hell broke loose. I went off the seat and forward and hit the luggage rack with my head. Anna, who asked we not show her face, remembers the sound of metal being peeled like a tin can and then the world rushed in. Rocks and dirt and wood and bricks. Curled in the fetal position, Anna thought of her husband and daughter and focused on only one thing, survival, as the train slid down the embankment and then suddenly it stopped. Open my, my eyes and remove the dust from my face. Not realizing she was hurt and bleeding, Anna rushed to help other passengers. Among them, Kishuk Ahn, a beloved nurse from Queens on her way home from work in Ossining. Anna and another passenger grabbed Ahn's stethoscope from her work bag, but could not find a heartbeat. I don't think that she felt any pain, is what I'm saying. She's, she just, she was finishing dying while we were with her. Anna wants An's family to know about those final moments. So I just want them to know that she, wa she wasn't alone, that we were there with her and that we tried to help her, but it, we couldn't, and I'm sorry that we couldn't, but she wasn't alone and that I did pray f for her. By the time rescuers made their way to Anna, she realized her back was injured and she was bleeding. The pain is still excruciating. My daughter, she wants to, wants me to hold her and I, I can't really move. Anna is among the first passengers now suing Metro North. Peter Rone is her attorney. It's so important so that this accident never happens again and no other people will die in the future.